She's one of the best investigators I had. But she's different. Uh, in what way? In every way. Something wrong with the report? Anything you chose not to disclose? He's clean, in my opinion. He's honest. Her credibility isn't dead yet. Mine is. He's had a long-standing sexual relationship with his co-editor of the magazine. Sometimes he pleasures her. Not often enough, in my opinion. No, you're right not to include that. Girl with a Dragon Tattoo is the story of a disgraced journalist played by Daniel Craig and how he set on this investigation to find this girl who disappeared 40 years ago. On his investigation, he gets paired up with a research assistant who comes from a pretty dark past. While they're on the investigation, they get swept up in a lot of controversy and cover-ups. Um, I did not enjoy this movie. Um, I, I, I really wanted to. Yep. And I think that that's maybe why I didn't enjoy it as much, because it was very much overhyped because mm -hmm. of the book, and there's a lot of teenage girls screaming about the book. And so I, and I they're was, always the most reliable critics. Th I think so, <laughs> yeah. But no, I was uh, completely disappointed by it. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, like with the, the setup, David Fincher, like I, I'm a big fan of his work. I usually like Daniel Craig too. Um, I, I, thought the char like, I thought the character of Elizabeth looked pretty interesting. Right. But it just it it, it should have work. been good. It should have been good. Like it is. It's a very interesting concept. Yeah. With very dynamic characters, and it fell completely flat for yeah, me. Yeah. I mean, even like Stellan Skarsgård, like he always delivers on performances, right. and I was like, this is a great cast, and it's just. It was too many people yeah. to introduce to the audience. Way too many people. Yeah. Uh, too many conspiracies that I couldn't. I, you know, I I like to think that I'm a pretty savvy moviegoer. So when I see a movie, I expect to understand it. Mm-hmm. And halfway into the movie, I just got lost in all the names and all the conspiracies and yeah, the money. Yeah, Daniel Craig would be like breaking into someone's house, and I'm like, who's yeah. whose house is this? Where are you? It's like, Daniel oh, that guy. Craig. Well, I don't know who that is. Right, it's and like I loved seeing them do things. Like I loved seeing them uh, beat people up or mm -hmm. you know be in sticky situations. But when they weren't, it was awful. Yeah. Yeah, I think it relied way too heavily on the violence, and there wasn't enough of it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see more violence. Yeah, which is, which is yeah. yeah, it doesn't say much for the movie. If right, that's, that's what, how you feel. Like, I really like the way, like, I really like the feel of the way that it was shot. Like, mm -hmm. I, I get it. Like, David Fincher is great at that kind of like atmosphere in his kind of movies. Like, Fight Club was all about like the atmosphere and like the tone, like how the, how it's shot. And I, this one isn't as dynamic as Fight Club was, but I still think that worked. So I can see why it was nominated mm -hmm. for cinematography in that way, um, but beyond that, like I just didn't think the story carried it, carried it, the tone. No, I mean I yeah I think that it was completely everything that was good about the film was overwritten by how confusing and fragmented it was extremely fragmented like there would be a whole chunk of the movie where you're following Daniel Craig and his uh, his failings as a as a investigative journalist and then you go straight to you know his investigation with uh, Elizabeth and it's just little chunks of things happening that don't is not cohesive for yeah. me at all and I know that uh, Rooney Mara was nominated for the character of Elizabeth and mm -hmm. she she delivered a, a good performance but I mean I definitely I mean it, it wasn't it wasn't just like I was blown away by it and I definitely don't think she's gonna win because no. she's up against oh, no, no. some amazing people like Glenn Close and even Michelle Williams, like I blew her out of the water and yeah, I, I, she didn't say anything, yeah. which can work sometimes. Like Ryan Gosling and Drive not saying anything, I was like, yes, don't talk, <laughs> this is great. But Elizabeth, it's like you're angry, be angry, mm -hmm. do something. I get it. You have black hair and you have piercings in your face, but that doesn't do it for me. Like it's just aesthetic to me. The whole film is just so. Nothing. I didn't. I really didn't like it. Yeah, it was just. I mean, it was. And it was like two and a half hours long. It was so long. It was just like, when is this? Like, they seem like they wrapped up most things, and there's still like 45 minutes left in the movie. I was like, oh, yeah. what's going on? Oh yeah, and uh, you could tell that they were setting up for the second movie, yeah. which um, I hear is going to be a lot more action packed, which is what I was looking for in the first movie, but whatever. Um, so I am going to see it. You know what? I can't yeah. say I'm not going to see it, mm -hmm. but. Uh, but instead of seeing this, I think you're just better off seeing the Swedish version. Which is now on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So see the original, see the new one and compare it and agree with me. The us. new one, 
<laughs> the new one is only in theaters right now, so watch for it to come on DVD if you don't feel like checking out in the theaters. But definitely we don't think it's going to win for like the main categories. No. But, but it's still worth a, <laughs> it's, it's worth a watch, the Swedish one is. Yes.